now let's see about segmentation in operating system segmentation is mainly useful in order to maintain modular structure of your program so if you want to maintain modular structure of your program that we use segmentation the major drawback of pacing is in your pacing a module may resides in different pages of the process let us take a c program any c program is a collection of functions so let we have three functions like the first function is deposit function the second function is withdrawal function the second function is cancel account function so totally uh, so this is nothing but our process so totally our program or process contains three functions so first function deposit function second function withdrawal function third function cancel function here there is a possibility that deposit function may stores in different pages of your process let it occupies three pages of the process and also here there is a possibility that withdrawal function may resides in some 10 pages of the process so that means in pacing we are not maintaining any modular structure so modular structure means each partition should contain only one function so this partition this function should not occupy more than one page so what is the major problem with pacing it doesn't maintains modular structure same method may resides in multiple pages of the process and multiple frames of the main memory so in order to overcome that problem we use as segmentation so segmentation is a non contiguous memory allocation just like pacing so we know what is non contiguous memory allocation here the segments need not be stored in contiguous memory locations wherever there is a free partition then the operating system allocates that partition for the corresponding segment so let's see what is a segment segment is nothing but a method or a function or, or some object or some class anything segment means a collection of statements okay uh, generally a function will be called as a segment now let's see the memory allocation for segments uh, here the memory allocation for the segments is similar to uh, pacing process only so the given process is divided into a number of partitions but here the size of a partition is similar to the size of a segment so the size of a partition depends upon the size of a segment suppose if a segment size is 10 kb then 10 kb of the partition will be allocated for the segment suppose if a segment size is 30 kb then 30 kb of the partition will be allocated for the segment so likewise the main memory is also divided into a number of partitions and that depends upon uh, the size of the segment okay so operating system allocates uh, a free frame for the corresponding uh, segment uh, now let's see this example so that we can get the perfect idea uh, segmentation hardware cpu generates a logical address in order to execute an instruction so that logical address is divided into two parts the first part specifies segment number the second part specifies offset offset means a location inside the uh, a location inside the segment here the segment member will be given as an index or input to the segment table we know that every segment table contains base address and limit address so let's see this example uh, here this is our process so our process totally contains uh, three segments the first segment is deposit the second segment is withdrawal third segment is some cancel account cancel here segment is nothing but a method only okay Uh, so this is segment zero. This is segment one. This is segment two. If you take uh, the first part of the main memory is operating system. So this is segment zero. For segment zero, what is the base address? Base address means starting address of the segment. For segment zero, the base address is hundred. Whereas this limit specifies length of the segment. So what is the length of the segment? Hundred. So let us assume that here CPU is accessing segment one. So what is the base address of the segment? here the base address is 200 whereas what is the limit of the segment so 200 350 so limit means length of the segment so 350 minus 200 means 
150 is the limit here. So here, while accessing an instruction, uh, CPU generates the logical address. Logical address contains segment number. Here, what is the segment number here? One. So this one will be passed to the segment table so that we will get the base address and the limit address. Here, let us assume that the CPU is accessing segment one. Let here the offset is 50. What is the offset here? 50 is the offset here. So here, this 50 will be compared with length of the segment. Offset means a particular location inside the segment. Here, how many locations the segment contains? This, in, this segment totally contains 150 instructions. So out of 150 instruction, which instruction we are executing? That is nothing but offset. So let we are executing 50th instruction. So the offset is 50. So we have to compare whether this offset is less than the limit or not. If this offset is less than the limit, less than the limit of the segment, so then only the segment is accessing the valid instruction. So here, uh, uh, so this is nothing but limit. So what is the limit of the segment? 150. And what we are doing here, we are using a comparator, less than comparator. So here we are checking whether this offset is less than the limit or not. Here what is the offset here? 50 is the offset. What is the limit of the segment? 150. So 50 is less than 150. D is less than limit. So condition is true. So we have to execute the exact instruction in the segment. So how to get exact instruction? Here we are executing 50th offset here. 50th instruction here. So that is nothing but 250. 50th instruction is nothing but here the base address is 200. So 250th instruction. So how to get 250? Here the base address is 200. Whereas offset is 50. So if we add 200 with 50 then it will give the exact location in the physical memory, main memory. So this is nothing but beta, base address. So with the help of adder, we are adding the base address with the segment. So this D value and this base value are added together. So it will give the exact physical address in the main memory. So let us assume that here offset is some 200. Let us assume that here offset is 200. Whereas what is the length of the segment? 150. So these two are compared here. So what is D value? 200. What is limit value? 150. So 200 is less than 150. So condition is false. So what will happen? It will generate whenever the condition is false, then this no will be executed. So operating system will generate a trap. Trap, trap means interrupt. So that, that segment execution will be terminated. That means this segment one is trying, is trying to access other segments. So operating system generates the trap so that that process will be terminated. So this uh, this diagram is very very simple. Let's see one more time. So CPU generates a logical address. That logical address is divided into two parts: segment number and offset. Segment number will be given as the input to the segment table. Next, with the help of the comparator, we have to check whether this offset is less than the limit of the segment or not. If this offset is less than the limit of the, if this offset is less than the length of the segment, then we can say that it is a valid instruction. So in order to get the exact physical address, we have to add this base address of the segment with the corresponding offset. So it will use the exact physical address in the main memory so that CPU executes that instruction. So this is about segmentation.